The Quick Action button on Osmond allows you to quickly access one or more functions of the app. You add the button to the screen from the Configure Screen menu. You can move it with a long press. Once you've enabled the button, you can add as many actions as you like. Either from here, or as I'll demonstrate, from the button itself. These actions are divided into three categories. The first lets you place items on the map. The second group changes map configuration settings. And the third group is related to navigation, including route planning. Here's a simple example. I'm adding an action that adds map markers to the map. Ordinarily, you place these and other features on the map with a long press. With quick actions, you slide and zoom the map until you get the location you want. This takes a bit longer, but it's a bit more precise. Let's add a second action, Favorites. I'll give it a default name and category. There's also an option to show an interim dialog. When it's on, I'm prompted for more information before the action is completed. When it's off, the favorite is added with the defaults I've set. The other selections are more specialized, but they work similarly. The second set of actions are from the Configure Map menu. For example, Change Map Style enables you to choose two or more styles for rendering the map. If you show the interim dialog, you get a menu. Otherwise, Osmond cycles through the selections. The third set of actions is related to navigation. For example, you can plan a route using the Add Destination selection. You can extend it by adding another destination. Note that the default starting point for a route is your current position. To plan a route remotely, you can make your starting point a map marker. Mark your destination. And then insert the map marker here. Extending the route is the same as before. You can delete selections 
and reorder them through the Quick Actions menu.